All right, quick easy one today. We're going to be talking about graphing linear inequalities. So just a couple of reminders. If we are not equal to, it is a dotted line. It is a dotted line if you are not equal to, meaning that it is not including the dots or the points on that line. Those points are not a solution, but everything either greater or less than are. If it is equal to, solid line. Everything on that line is money. It is actually going to be a solution for your inequality. So let's take a look at our first example. X plus 2Y is greater than 6. So first off, you're going to be graphing a line. You need to get it into slope-intercept form. So I'm going to subtract the X, and we'll pick it up there. 2Y greater than negative X plus 6. Almost done. You should all know how to do this by now. Divide by the 2. All terms getting the same treatment. Y is greater than negative 1 half X plus 3. All right, we approach it the exact same way. Like we're graphing a line. There's my intercept, there's my slope. So I start at 3, 1, 2, 3, and I have a negative 1 half slope. So I'm going to go down 1, right to 2. Now this is where we need to remember the rules. We are not equal to. So it is going to be a dotted line. Whew, that's a nice line. We're greater than. So we are above the line. Now, if you're not good at remembering which is above, which is below, you can pick a point and test it. Uh, for instance, I could pick 0, 0. Notice that's below the line. If I were to plug 0, 0 in, I would get 0 is greater than negative 1 half times 0 plus 3. Now, this will leave me with a statement that 0 is greater than 3, if you were to evaluate. Now, notice I chose the point 0, 0 and it gave me a false statement. If the side I pick is false, it means the other side gets the shading. And so whether you pick a point and test it, or you remember that greater than is above and less than is below, there's an answer plain and simple for you, okay? So that's one example of how to graph a linear inequality. We're gonna do one more together. Get it set up. Magic button. <laughs> Here we go. We have a new inequality. Negative 3x plus y is less than or equal to negative 8. Now, I'm actually going to call it audible here. I want to do something different, so I'm going to write a different equation down. I'm going to just change one thing. Uh, let's make it negative 3x minus y. Uh, we'll make it greater than or equal to negative 8. Now, I'll explain why I'm doing this in a second. Bring the x over. We get a negative y greater than or equal to 3x minus 8. Now, this is one of the inequality rules some of you forget. To get y alone, I'm going to divide by a negative 1. Don't sleep on this. When you multiply or divide by a negative, it ends up flipping the inequality. So, I'll, left, I'll be left with y is less than or equal to negative 3x plus 8. Okay? So, graph time. Get my little grid real quick. I need to start at 8, and that is my y-intercept. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. My counting skills are still stellar. Slope of negative 3. Down 3, right 1. This is a solid line, because it is equal to. So, shadaisy. I'm going to do the quick cheat. I'm less than, so I am beneath the line. And that's how to graph linear inequalities. Mark the drop. Walk off.